So, game five. Here, I'm still indecisive about my sideboarding. I wanted more win conditions. As you saw, the last game, I was kind of strapped to win conditions, but I, I ended up getting there. So, I bring back my Titan, and I've taken out a win condition. Can, I think you just want to go for a lower curve, because you figure that... Yeah, yeah, I, I just wanted a lower curve. Like, the scape shift is... It's, it. it's interesting, though, because the Maelstrom Rider is, as we've mentioned, more resilient to counter spells. Yeah, yeah, it is interesting, but, like, you've only got two that I care about, but... Well, yeah, the, the, the Mana Leak can, can be fine. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't take it out, because sometimes it's good enough. Yeah. Um, and I haven't brought Spell Pierce in for that reason, guys. Uh, I just don't feel that it's going to be good enough against Luke's deck. Two mana is not something that his deck really struggles to put together at all. Yeah. Anyway, I've taken out the big daddy and brought in back in a slightly big lesser daddy. <laughs> all right. So this is your sixer. This is my six card hand, and uh, you're getting yours. So, uh, mine's a snap mile. It was a uh, very light on lands or something. I, it was. It wasn't even good regardless of whether I had lands or not. But it was. It was very light on lands, and I think I mulled it. Yeah. Mine was. Uh... Four lands, Thrag Tusk, Primal Command. Now, normally that would be a mulligan, but I know you're going at five, so I keep it. I've got all four colours, so I decided to take a risk. I never knew that. Yeah, so your hand consists of Pluto Delta, Planes, Brainstorm. And I think I got a mana drain again. You got a drain and a Venser. Yeah, so I, I've got a very good five card hand, except for the planes. Yeah, you keep drawing the drain and the Venser, don't you? Yeah, drain and Venser have showed up a lot and, these and games. And brainstorm. Uh, brainstorm only showed up twice, hasn't it? I'm not sure. But yeah, the, um, so I play, I put Delta first because if it all I can possibly I want to draw Boozles and shuffle away that planes because that planes is horrid, um, especially well, in a hand such as this, which is so blue heavy. Yeah, okay. You've drawn I, the Hallowed Fountain, haven't you? Uh, not yet. I think I draw it next turn, perhaps. Oh, so, okay. I, I'm still not cracking the fetch lane because I want to be able to shuffle out with Brainstorm. I think I have to bite the bullet at this point. I'm just trying to get the most value off Brainstorm as I can. Cause You've I'm, got a Green Sun Zenith there. Yeah, I have a Green Sun Zenith. So now I figure I can shuffle away whatever I draw, off, if I draw any Green Swords off the Brainstorm. Because with well, Brainstorm, you, you want to get maximum you value. You wouldn't want to get rid of that Plains, considering... Oh. Hopefully I draw better lands. Plains is just the worst land to have in this Yeah, hand. but it was your only... Only your only land. Yeah, but I, I was hoping for a drawing a land, and then being able to brainstorm, draw three cards, have some more lands, and be able to shuffle away the plane, which is a land that doesn't really do much other okay. writing. That's pretty pretty Cut. hopeful thinking. <laughs> well, like when when you're on five, you've got to be somewhat optimistic, and you want to be like I'm just keeping my options open, and that's the ideal situation. So I might as well play towards that. Hmm. So you ended up playing brainstorm turn two. Turn three. It's turn three. I, oh, I waited okay. for maximum value. My hand's so slow. I, you I, wanted I, to get as deep as possible for I, the, to find lands. To find lands and to be able to scot my draw into something that's a bit smoother because yeah. I'm missing, like, just, yeah, so many pub yeah. cuts. So I've, I've drawn Jide here, which is, just does nothing against Luke's deck. I can't blot it out because I don't have anything better to bring in, but it doesn't do much. Yeah, uh, Wooded Foothills. Uh, Wooded Foothills, which is obviously great. So you found your third land. And I've got the Venser yeah. and a Mana Leak. And I'm really deliberating whether I want to put them back the Mana Leak or the Green Sun Zenith, I think. And, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to decide between the Mana Leak and the Green Sunset. I'm trying to remember why I was thinking... Mm. Surely Venser would be, like, a, a more of a consideration. Cost, Ven cost four. Oh, it's not in your hand, is it? No, Venser's in my hand. I just, yeah, yeah. It's interaction. I, I, I don't get rid of interaction. It, it's better interaction than Mana Leak. At least it, it, it provides a threat. You know, like, you're on six as well. You might be a bit dubious, you know. It allows me to tempo you out once I do get a threat on the board. And I, I think I do have lands now at this point. I'm considering Green Sunset for a one-drop. And then I'll be able to cast Venser. I think I get a Death Ride Chamber or a Noble Hierarchy. I think I eventually do decide to Green Suns. Because okay. I really don't want to draw that Jude again. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I, I, I'm, I'm playing a bit slow here. and I'm, I'm I, It's a bit naughty of me. I should really speed myself up. So I'm here, here, here. I'm finally kicking into motion. You're forcing me to play with the camera rather than... <laughs> Okay, so I've decided not to Green Suns. Um, you want to hold up the Drain or the Mana Leak? No, I, I can't or hold the, up. You can't hold Drain because you've I got Planes. I think I want. I think I wanted to Green Suns for. Oh, I want to Green Suns for Eternal Witness and get back that Brainstorm. Just got my hand more, so that's what I've decided to go for. I still want to shuffle over that Jide, which I've just done. Did you just drip that Harrod Mason? No, no, uh, it was no because the Brainstorm. Okay. So I, I decided I wanted to keep most of the cards in my hand, and I, 
I just want to be able to turn a witness to get that brainstorm and then just like stabilize by holding up counter magic and brainstorm yeah, yeah. and sculpt my hand a bit. Right. Meanwhile, in Luke land, I've drawn nothing but lands this whole game. I've still just got the Thrag Tusk and the Primal Command in hand, unfortunately for me. So I've, I've just cracked my fetches. I cracked one and Luke said no responses and I just cracked the other. I had to save time, just letting him know. Um, I didn't crack both at once. I, I don't know what card could blow me out. He'd go Mana Morpho, Shadow of Doubt, but... Or oh, Bind. You could play Bind. Okay, sure. But, uh, yeah, so um, I didn't actually crack both at once. I'm just cracking both. At, uh, I cracked one, Luke said it resolved, and then I'm using it to save time. Um, so I'm paying a bunch of life with your breeding pool. Paying a bunch of life. Because um, I want to get as many blue swords as possible, and I still want that double green. Um, and now I'm, uh, I should, I'm, I'm handing you back the deck, but I'm just about to green suns for a turn and get back brainstorm, so I don't know why I'm shuffling, uh, I really shouldn't be. So I hand you the deck, and I'm like, oh, wait a second, I'm just green suns for a turn witness, and I know that. We're both weary after... Four games of play, I yeah. Don't know. <laughs> I mean... So I'm just getting that of turn witness, getting the brainstorm. I, I, I'm just basically hoping that Luke doesn't apply too much pressure, and, you know, my, my card selection will allow me to, like, really smooth out my draws. Brainstorm's such a powerful card, especially with the fetch lands, that I can really be quite selective in uh, what I get and etc. and uh, it'll all be okay, I suppose. Yeah, I felt like you had a counter spell from your turns 2 and 3 uh, play, because you didn't do anything on turn 3, so I felt like this was my window to cast something sweet, but I just drew it into the north, so unfortunately I couldn't make the most of the opportunity. Yeah. What do you have sweet in the 4-drop spot? Like tutors and... Yeah, I guess I haven't got that much. I'd have like Blood Braid Elf or Solemn Simulacrum. So you keep Solemn Simulacrum in against me? Yeah. Okay, so... He's value. He's value? Okay, it makes sense. Yeah. He, he buys you time and he accelerates, he does both the things you want. Yeah, draws me a card, probably trades with the... And in your deck, he's, he's a play for turn three, not on turn four, so... Correct, yeah. So he's fine is it when, he's, when he's really a three drop in reality. Yeah. I often board him out against control decks uh, because I just want to maximise my threat density. Yeah. But, yeah. You can see me on screen lamenting the planes and talking about how bad planes is in my deck and how it's the worst land. <laughs> um... So here, here I am. I'm trying to figure out the best way. So I'm brainstorming with Tundra because obviously I've got white mana that I don't need. And yeah, so we're just waiting for me to uh, finish thinking this out. Uh, it's obviously very important. Uh, the game five, you know, winner takes all. Uh, I, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Well, we're, what were you? What was your record coming into we're, this match? We're, we're both X two coming into this match. Okay. So it's uh, neither of us want to be X three because that puts us on another loss, knock us out of no, knock us out of top eight. So. Oh, really? Would three losses be out of top eight? No, four losses would be out of top eight. Okay. So, yes. but, but obviously you just want to keep your record as clean as possible. Yeah, this is one of the records, uh, one of the reasons why I broke my um, same deck each, a different deck each week yeah. rule. <laughs> are, you well are you well prepared for next week? Has you got a good deck that's got a good matchup against Zoo? Oh, no, I've played Do you think I... Oh, I'm concerned for you, Luke. I'm suddenly concerned. Um... Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely edit this bit out. But yeah. yeah. All right, so it's my go. I've drawn Wayfarer's Bauble. That's uh, not a massive threat, but I've got a 5-drop I can play here. Let's see. I think I have to choose between... So I can go Primal Command, finding Demir House Guard to have a next turn kill, but I'm worried about Armageddon or Ravager's War, and I feel like if I drop the Thrag Tusk, then you won't be far enough ahead that you can Armageddon. So, that's what I go for. Even though it's like game five and I haven't seen Geddon or Ravages of War the last three games, it, this is Highlander, you know, and it can happen. And and you're so certain that I've got them because you saw my deck list from the previous round. Yeah, yeah. A cruel twist of fate, yeah. putting, putting Luke in a situation where he's uh, forced to make these plays that he wouldn't normally make because of cards that I'm not actually running anymore. Yeah, well, I, I kind of... I imagine... I, like, I trust human nature, and I, I figured people uh, tend to be lazy and just, you know, oh, it's only a small change, I'll just submit my old list, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's what I trusted, and I was wrong. A lack of laziness on my part. <laughs> yeah. Most uncharacteristically as well. <laughs> uh, so at this point, I'm just figuring out the best way to get through the Thrag Tusk. 
Um, my Thalmor Globe's not big enough that I, I want to trade it for a Thrag Tusk, obviously. So I'm just going to play the Noble Hierarch and attack with the Exalted Trigger. Because uh, mm. I'm more than happy to try my weakness for the Thrag Tusk, because then the Thalmor Globe outclasses the beast and I get to beat through. Yeah, and that's exactly the reason why I don't block. And Luke's on a fairly sizable life total at this point. Taking three doesn't hurt too much at this point. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm effectively taking less damage by not blocking. So I've drawn Besiege the Queen. So once again, I can scape shift this turn, but he's got four. He's got three cards in hand and four mana untapped. So I think it's too risky to go for the scape shift here. And also, I've brainstormed twice, which is another consideration Luke has to take into account. I've seen yeah. a lot of cards and I've shuffled away a lot of cards I don't want. Yeah. And the fact that I'm keeping like. It's almost impossible I don't have spells in hand, and the fact that I could be mana untapped, I'm sure Luke noticed in during the game, yeah. means that I'm almost certain to have some yeah. interaction. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said. <laughs> yeah. Um, so my considerations here are Snapcaster Mana Leak or Remand. No, you haven't got Mana Leak here, so I'm thinking Mana Leak or Remand or Mana Drain or Venza. They're the four cards that I'm in my mind. I think I have three of the four in hand, if I'm correct. I think I have Mana Leak, Mana yeah, Drain, Vents. <laughs> Alright, so I just run this into the counter spell here. Cause, so I can play around counter spells better with Besiege the Queen the following turn. So I, I'm, I'm just... Uh, that Mana Leak was wrong. Uh, I was very... What I was thinking at the time, the reason I snapped... I, I made the decision too quickly. You guys saw I did it immediately, right? Before Luke had even announced the modes of Primal Command... I was really worried about Mana Lake being dead against Luke's ramp deck um, and not being useful. I just wanted to find a use for it. But it was better for me to just vent to the Primal Command, have an extra... It doesn't really increase the clock, but it increases the clock once the Tarmal Glyph's gone. Oh, sorry, once the Thrag Tusk is gone. And then Mana Lake it next turn, because it buys me two turns of Luke Primal Commanding uselessly. Except... Well, I could have resolved it with through a Mana Lake the following turn. Ah, oh, the following turn. So, okay. Yeah. yeah also, so... my logic was, was incorrect, because I, I could have beseeched the Queen through a Mana Lake, but whatever I found would have been ineffectual. Yeah, but you wouldn't have to cast it that turn. Yeah, so I could have just beseeched the Queen through Mana Lake. If you don't counter it, then I just don't cast it, the thing that I tutor for. Yeah. And save it for next turn, where I can cast it twice against the Remand, yeah. or once against Mana Lake. Yeah. So, uh... The Mana Leak... So the Mana Leak was actually correct, I just thought it was wrong. Because so, uh, after I did the Mana Leak, my, my original thinking was correct and I second-guessed myself. Yeah. Just then, guys. Uh, we're all over the place, aren't we? We are. Uh, and Highland is such a great, complicated format that, you know, you, you can think something's just uh, wrong and then realise that you're right the first time because there's just so many factors because of the singleton nature of the format. Yeah. Or we're just bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's entirely That's... possible, too. <laughs> Uh, so we're fixing uh, the camera. I, I knocked it with in my excitement it. of, I don't know, something. Yeah, something, yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit delirious. It's it's getting it, quite it's, hot in here. It's been a long day. Uh, and it had been a long day already, mm. just two hours ago when we were playing this game. Um, well, not for me. I'd, like, sat on the couch all day. Well, for, 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 for me it was, anyhow. You come from uni or something? Or? No, I just got up early in the morning okay. to do stuff. I had to tidy some stuff up. And, okay. And, and, anyway. Yeah, not, student life, eh? Not relevant to the, to the nature of the game. <laughs> Magic life. Um, so you're just thinking about Besiege the Queen here, I think. Yeah, I'm wondering whether I want to uh, go triple black, um, and then have I Besiege be bad against your Armand, but I suppose it's the same amount of matter either way. Uh, I'm I'm thinking that you most likely got Snapcaster Mana Leak. That's what I thought. Uh, you could also have Remand or or Benza. Yeah. In my head, I didn't even, I didn't consider Mana Mana Drain at this stage. I think I kind of figured if you had Mana Drain, I've lost anyway. That was my logic. So you cast Beseech here. Yeah. And I'm thinking about whether I want to Drain or Venza. And I think I like to do neither. I should elect to do now. That's the correct play, and I, I have made the correct play um, because I, I don't care about what you get with that. I just want to make sure that the thing that you get with it doesn't resolve. So he's, yeah. Or yeah. if I had got Maelstrom Wanderer. Well, yeah, and, and then then I would have been blown out, and I, I was completely unaware of the existence of Maelstrom Wanderer. I didn't see it yeah. in any of the games, but it would have been very good against me in multiple games. Yeah, definitely. I I only had the opportunity to get it this game, but so I end up going for Pernicious Deed, playing around Mana League. Uh, which I was happy about. Um, even, even like... But you've got the drain, so... Oh. 
I think I like to venture it. I'm not sure. Do, do I drain it or venture it? Let's find out. So I'm figuring out which one I want to do because obviously I can't let it resolve. Um, yeah. I it, think kill, you, uh, it kills my Sylvan Library and that generates so much card advantage. And I think I decided I want a permanent solution to it. So I mana drain it. Yeah. Yeah. So I just passed him. And now, now your ghost is big enough to run over my Thrag Tusk. Yeah, and, and that, that was another reason that I drained it, yeah. because... You've drawn Restoration Angel. Putting the enchantment in the bit. The drawing Restoration Angel was excellent here. Yeah, and so it's can... funny that it turned out that not blocking the Witness earlier has opened up this line. Yeah. And I'm really tired here um, at this point. I, for some reason, decided not to cast my Restoration Angel now uh, with the Mana Drain Mana, um, for whatever reason. Yeah, you, you just forgot that you had the Mana Drain Mana. No, I, I, I thought I Mana Drained the Beseech the Queen at this point. I, I was so flustered. Um, yeah. Because I, I, if you, if you guys can hear the audio, we can't. Uh, at some point in the next minute or so, I'm going to say, "Oh, I'm silly. I had six mana floating from uh, mana draining beseech the queen." No, no, you didn't. You didn't mana drain the beseech the queen. Yeah, I know, but I thought I did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All right. Yeah. So me of two hours hence uh, has thought that he's mana drained beseech the queen, but then forgotten about it. If that makes any sense at all, which it shouldn't, because it's really confusing. So I'm pretty much forced to chump the goif here. Otherwise, I'm taking six. I think we calculated it was. Yeah. Um, Noble Heart exalted plus all the creatures. Yeah, and I've got a bunch of chumpers. So, so you want to play? <laughs> you you prefer to have the what was the, it Phyrexian? The, the new Phyrexian beast. I think I think it looks uh, a lot more scary, yeah. and and Luke's a more traditional guy. He wants the beast that you know. Yeah, that's on the actual art. Yeah. Yeah. This is the background of Thrag Task. Yeah. Uh, my favourite, I think, is the uh, Eventide Beast. Eventide? I'm not sure that I'm familiar with it. Yeah, you should check it out. Oh, I, I definitely will. I'm, I'm a man who loves yeah. to get the, the nicest art for his tokens. <laughs> so, County Garden, t like the token appearance. <laughs> so here I am. I, I'm casting my Restoration Angel end of turn, blinking my witness to get back my mana drain to just make sure that I don't lose yeah, the game. Which and is just uh, pretty brutal. And, and, and here I am talking about the Beseech the Queen and how I had the Mana Drain Mana floating and I should have drawn more cards off Sylvan Library to take advantage of it. Yeah. So, feeling like a bit of a, a bit of a duffer um, at this point. I'm shaking my head at myself because I made that uh, play error. Yeah. I, I was still feeling okay at this point because I thought I could, like, before you played the Resto Angel, I thought I could just still rip the Scape Shift out of it. But, yeah. But now you've got the Drain in hand. I, I know it's over. Like, yeah. And I bought it out my mouth from Wanderer, which I, I was <laughs> wishing I hadn't at this point. Yeah, obviously. That would, yeah. It would have been very good through the counter match. And a lot of these yeah. games, if you have a look at the board state, have a look at like a strategy aspect of this matchup and how it plays out. Yeah. It, it's me establishing a board presence and protecting it with counter spells, which are so weak against Maelstrom Wanderer because it's three spells in one. Yeah. I, I can hit double ram spell and it whiffs, but... Yeah. Or you could hit a Titan. And it's you, could, you could hit double time. Titan and yeah. it's just game over. Yeah. <laughs> Inferno Grave. That would yeah. be uh, yeah. that would be quite the play. Yeah, I think the best I've done is um, Bloodbraid, Time Walk, and Grave Titan. That was pretty sweet. So here I am. I'm coming in with Resto and uh, Tamagoyf. Chumpsville. Playing a Sol Ring. Um, Still got Venser in hand. I had an interesting Sylvan Library decision, but I just decided that I just wanted, didn't want to lose any life, didn't want to get surprised by anything. I even considered at this point what happened if Luke had a Banefire in his deck if I'd paid for 8 life for the Sylvan Library and I was like, oh, I can't beat Banefire. Just, you know, because I'm trying to figure out any cards that I might not expect that would just beat me for this position because yes. uh, I feel pretty heavily advantageous, ad, ad, advantaged uh, with the drain in hand and this board state. Yeah. And you only having one card in hand, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Come back. So here I am. I'm obviously playing something. Okay, I'm venturing the beast. End of turn, and I'm telling Luke that I'm going to attack him for lethal, but he's ref he's re he's making me do it. He's making me go through the motions. I'm yeah, you were so excited about winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just wanted to make you sweat a bit. Oh yeah, sure. I I, I wasn't sweating. I was just I was utterly confident. I knew Drain had had you dead, and uh, the lethal damage was fine. And Luke's making me shuffle the green suns in, to drag it out or as long as possible. <laughs> uh, I'm green something with Stringroot guys just to just put the nail in the coffin. Um, if you had some uncountable removal spell like Abrupt Decay or something, uh, Stringroot guys' extra damage means that him killing the Witness or the Tumblegloaf is still fine. Yep, and I'm dead. That's the match. 
Keach wins 3-2. And yeah, it was a very good match. I enjoyed it a lot. There was a, a bunch of really interesting lines, and quite close at points. Yeah, on the whole, I was disappointed with it, mostly because I lost, but also because I, I was indecisive with my sideboard, um, and I, f- I wasn't comfortable with like the the play speed as that we were both playing at. You were both playing a tiny bit slow. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was a little agitated, but it, yeah. was, it, was, it was still good fun. All right, well, uh, thank you for having me on. It was a a pleasure. No, no, good job. Yeah. And best of luck to you next week.